Hi all, welcome to the final whistle for another match day vlog. And tonight we're off to Tyneside as Leicester City take on Newcastle United at St James's Park in the Monday Night Football. This one is a difficult game. Um, and Newcastle are banging in goals like it's no one's business. And uh, yeah, the Foxes face a difficult task. Um, and we've got to be up for it tonight, let's be honest. Uh, we've got to show fight, character, and give it a good go tonight. Um, that's all we ask. But, if we win tonight, then we're out the relegation zone by goal difference. Um, because Leeds and um, Everton failed to win it the weekend, which... Leaves it slightly in our hands. Um, but Newcastle themselves are one point away from Champions League qualification. They want to put on a show tonight against the Foxes in their last home game um, of the Premier League season tonight. Newcastle and uh, yeah, they'll be right up for it. Um, but they'll want to go for that win. But... We can only hope we get something out of tonight's game. I think it'll be a game full of goals, this one. And, uh, yeah, let's get to uh, St. James's part, shall we? And get this match day vlog underway. So guys, smash a like and subscribe. And I'm going... Oh, My head says no comment. Um, but my heart lives in slight hope. Um, and it's the hope that kills you in it. So uh, I'm going to go with the heart tonight, and I'm going to go 1-1. Let's see what happens then, and come on, the Foxes. Right then. So we're at the King Park Stadium, ahead of boarding the coaches for Newcastle away. You can see KFC down in the background. Long trip, this one. But, yeah, who knows? That's how we get a result. James, how are you? All good. Newcastle away, mate. Um, really nice weather, in it? Um, today. What we're we going for today, mate? Tackle one one draw. Hope one more. Grandad? I'd like to go for a draw, but I want to see him win. We gotta win. Gotta win. That's it. Fantastic. Cheers, lads. Right then, KFC Dad, mine the Silver Fox. Yes. The last away game of the season. Um Newcastle away. A difficult game. What we go for tonight, lads? We'll start with you, Jit. Yes, it is a very, very difficult game. Uh, it's a another. I keep saying it uh, in the last three, four games. Another must win. We have to. We have to win tonight. Um, anything, anything less than that isn't really going to cut it. I mean, even even if we get a one-one draw, we're mathematically still able to do something. But we have to. We've got to win tonight. Um, what are you going for? So my heart says two one to Leicester. Yeah. But my head says three one to Newcastle. Okay. Mayu, what are we going for tonight then? Two one. And my my head said draw one one. Interesting stuff. Let's get to Newcastle, lads. Come on, you Martin. Martin, Oliver, how are you? All right, thank you. Martin, mate, Newcastle away, what are we going for, mate? Two one Leicester. Last late minute goal to keep us up. Commitment. Oliver, he's got if you find he'll be on time. He's right. actually be pulling our pants down. Could be a long night then. <laughs> It'll be a very long night. Cheers, mate. Sometimes, and sometimes when it's all congested at the front, they'll come back to open his door again. Yeah, and then go yeah, and then yeah. Ronnie. Yes, mate. How are you, mate? All right, thanks you. Enjoying the weather? Yes, all right. <laughs> what do you reckon to that, Ron? Four you one. normally miss the three one. No, I'm going four one. Four tonight. one. Yeah. Well, Which way? Newcastle. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, Ron. Jack, yeah. how are you, mate? Good, thank you very much. Newcastle away, pal. Yeah. What yeah. do you reckon, mate? A tough one, isn't it? Hope. Well, I mean, it, you've got to try and be a little bit optimistic. I mean, uh, my heart is saying one all, but my no. head, but my head is saying two one Newcastle. But I want to try and go with my heart and say one all, and probably hopefully Barts will score tonight. So, come on, the Foxes. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Right then, so food is acquired, we've got the fiery buffalo wrap 
um, and we've got the popcorn snack box. Let's talk in and uh, yeah, let's get to Newcastle. Right, um, so we've arrived on time, so I had a kick off. We're gonna go and meet up with a few of the friends and then we're gonna head into the St. James's Park for the football, Car City. I'm here with Adam P. Adam, how are you, mate? I'm good, Jack. It's good to see you in the flesh once again. Yeah, it's all good to see you, mate. Um, Champions League football can be confirmed tonight for Newcastle United. How are you feeling about that, mate? Well, all Newcastle had to do today is draw the game to be guaranteed Champions League football. And the big question being, do I think Newcastle is going to at least draw the game tonight? Yes, to be honest. Um, going into this one, um, I kind of like the fact that uh, Villa didn't beat Liverpool because if they won the game, they would already be there anyway, which means that this game... It just wouldn't be too much in it, you know, because uh, Newcastle haven't really got anything to play for anyway, all of them trying to get third. So that was a big thing. Um, tonight, oh, I can't wait for this match. I've been waiting my, my entire life to see something like this. I know you being a Champions League just a couple yes, of seasons ago. Yes, a few right? seasons ago. Uh, I can't Trips wait to, to be and all and, that, you yes. know, we know how you feel. <laughs> but how does it feel like the season has hold? Obviously, it's been a fantastic season for Newcastle. You've worked hard and credit where it's due for Newcastle Adam to be fair you've uh, brought some great players in Isaac um, scoring goals Wilson scoring goals um, how has Eddie Howe transformed this team into the unit that they are they're up for everything they fight they show passion they've got everything we want to see this season as Foxes fans that's amazing really if you look at Newcastle's squad really uh Half the squad Newcastle start still were the squad we had in before the takeout when Steve Bruce was manager and when yeah. Newcastle were 19 from the tail. We still have half of that squad. I mean, Joe Linton, Longstaff. I mean, you're playing these guys in now that a couple of seasons ago, you like to see yourself. Or anyone, even myself, I probably would come out and go, these players are rubbish, you're not going to do this, not going to do that. So the fact you've seen all these players now play so consistently well. And Newcastle, we've been in the top four in the large majority of the season now. We went at the World Cup break third. Match week 37, we're still third, so uh, Newcastle have been so good all season long. I didn't believe we could get top four. I always thought eventually we would drop out, but we might have to keep it in there. What was your predictions at the start? Uh, I said 9th to 12th before we kicked the ball. Yeah. Uh, then I went to the World Cup break when we were third. I think I said probably top six, top seven. I thought we would still get Europe, but we wouldn't maintain top four. Yeah. It's a difficult game for Leicester. Um, we're 19th from the table, three points off the... Getting out the relegation, Adam. Um, a win slap for the Foxes would get us out on goal difference. Leicester need to show that fight against Newcastle. I mean, you beat us twice already this season. But I think as Foxes fans, we just want to see us up for it. Um, I'm expecting a very difficult game. Um, I'm not confident going into this game, the way Newcastle are playing their football at the minute. Um, but what's your predictions tonight, mate? What, which way are you going? Well... I say it straight away that I think this is the one Leicester have to win. Yeah. You cannot afford to let the last game be decided by Everton because, I mean, yes, West Ham at home is a realistic game, but Everton Bournemouth, I think, is a realistic one as well. So the last thing you want to do is to give them a chance to stay up on their own. You've got to put the pressure on them. So you would have to win this game. Do I think you're going to do it? No, I don't think you will. Uh, I thought the Liverpool game was one you probably should have won. Uh, yeah. I know Liverpool have been good, but at home, you got to get something going here. You just you were rubbish in the game, to be honest. Uh, so this one's going to be the decider tonight. Honestly, for me, I, I said 5-1. 5-1. Um, I'm sorry. Ooh, <laughs> I did say 5-1 as well. I'm going to stick by it. Um, I'm confident. I think if Newcastle score the first 10 minutes, then you're in serious trouble. You have to keep it 0-0 no -no for a while and try and pick us up because otherwise I think Newcastle could really make it a hard day for you. Cheers, Adam. And Cheers, all the Jack. best for the rest of the season after tonight. Even though you've got uh, one game left. Uh, <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you very much, pal. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Peter, Charlie from Charlie Talks Football. Guys, how are you? We're good. Thank Doing you for having us on the you. channel. All good. Um, tonight's game is a massive one for both sides. Leicester, three points, would take them out of the relegation zone. Um, goal difference, Newcastle tonight, one point, secures Champions League qualification. Lads, talk to me then. 
what do you think on the thoughts of the game? What do you oh, think, Charlie? Honestly, well, it's going to be an interesting game because obviously it will be important for you guys to win because yep. that's what you've uh, got to do. But I think overall, obviously for us, we need to win the game if we want to uh, pretty much secure Champions League football. I'm hoping it's going to be a 4 1 win than you, Yeah. Brings me confidence. That, that's, uh, we, 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 would, you, we were down at Leicester on Boxing Day, and it was an awful day for Leicester. We've got to stop know, him, mate. Yeah, exactly. So Leicester's got to try and bounce back from that. But I'm hoping as long as Newcastle get one point, that's enough for us. You know, so it's fingers crossed. I think it's going to be a seven goal thriller 4 3. 4 3. 4 3 to Newcastle. But Newcastle don't often concede many goals. We'll have to see what happens. Cheers, Peter. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Right then, Leicester team news to play Newcastle. So we've got Iverson, Castagno, Sutor, Evans, Walt Fast, Luke Thomas, Samore, Tielemans, Ndidi, Ian Acho, Jamie Vardy. Interesting team. Right then, so we've got Kingston's Apple Cider today. I mean, it tastes all right, to be fair. A uh, bit black, though. Not the best side of our bag. Um, I'll get a five. Uh, but 
you know, the time on the press of Newcastle. Um, you know, we've been in our own hall for this second half. Uh, you know, we've just got to keep defending. James's Park, Newcastle nil, Leicester nil, and uh, yeah, the Fox is defending real resolutely in the game, um, coped with Newcastle's pressure, um, and yeah, defended really well throughout the game. Uh, yeah, our point it is then for the Foxes going into the final day of the season, and what an interesting one it's going to be. The Foxes really need the three points, and hope Everton don't pick up anything against Bournemouth. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, but congratulations to Newcastle on Champions League qualification. Um, fully deserved it on the season that they've had, and uh, hats off to them. But guys, smash a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next match day vlog. Take care.